Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to part, you know, 10-ish, whatever this really is, I'm not entirely sure, of Get Together. So we were in the boys' household today, uh, my door is opening and closing, not gonna deal with that. I believe it's my siblings. But today, I think we're gonna deal with uh, Gunther and Eddie, because we haven't really talked about that much, but you know, first of all, to preface this, uh, I did have to restart the save, you might have seen it on Twitter. My game's been really like laggy and crashy lately with this save in particular. I lost it and because it was all corrupted and then it corrupted again and I was like, screw it. So I remade the save. We have everything back to normal, I think, except for the fact that our club still doesn't have enough points to get another member. So uh, presently, Travis is not in the, cl the club, which I have renamed, by the way, the crew. Uh, we used to be the swag masters, but now we're the crew who are the masters of swag. It's like our description because I mean I figured that like the swag masters might have been like a little bit too ridiculous so I changed it you're welcome but today I do want to have I think let's go out on a coffee date with Gunther um I think that'd be kind of fun so let's just I can't have okay well you know what pressing the M key on purpose and we're gonna go traveling and we're gonna go see Gunther I did put him in his own little house he finally moved out from his mother's house which is good. See, he's moving on up in the world. And we have everybody else, like, in other places. I don't want coffee. And we have nothing. Oh, my God. I don't have anything in Newcrest. I just... Well, we can go to the somewhere else, then. Let's go to the museum together. That'd be so cute. Because this is, like, their first... Oh, I can't even take him there. Oh, my God. Okay. We'll go there and we'll invite him out. Because I don't actually know him. Because I have to, like, you know, meet him first. I just cheated the relationship back in because... They had it there in the first place, but, you know, game is broken, so had to fix everything. I'm kind of salty about that, but I'm going to just... The game's running much more smoothly now, so good. Thumbs up for that, The Sims, but still, I'm bitter. Um, <laughs> but I'm excited about this because they have never been actually, like, dating, dating, but now they're going to actually date, date. So we're going to invite him to hang out at the current lot, and we're going to, you know, maybe ask him to be our boyfriend, I think? I don't know. Also, I lost. I had like all kinds of selfies with my friends, and now I lost all of them, which is so sad. Also, we Eddie, we haven't played with him much. Um, he wants to start a club, so I'm thinking like, what he'd be? What is he? Who was he like? Eddie's create. Oh, we can have him start like a painting club. That'd be so cute. Is this Gunther? <gasps> Gunther. Also, I got some points about getting him a makeover, which we could totally do in this part. I think that'd be kind of fun. So let's come over here to Gunther, and I guess we will, you know, introduce ourselves. I mean, no, we'll, we're like greeting him here. Like, yo, look at his little tummy. Oh, should we kiss him? Let's go for the first kiss. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so nervous. You think he's gonna be down for it? Oh, just walk up and kiss him. I'm so nervous. Oh, I ship it. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, they're wearing like the same outfit, which is kind of awkward. Oh, look, he was totally down for it. You guys don't, if you don't like, if this isn't your OTP, I don't know what is. That's a lie. We all know the real OTP. Never mind. I'm not going to say it because you could have different different opinions. Okay. Well, I ship it and I want him to ask. We're just, you know, get right in there. Forget the real date stuff. Be my boyfriend. Oh, look, you're my boyfriend. Yes. Okay. So now I want to give him a bit of a makeover. So uh, let's just go into like create a sim. So testing. Oh, testing. Cheats on. Cast up full edit mode. We haven't really seen what he looks like up close um so that could be an interesting thing to do you maybe see what your boyfriend looks like for the first time yeah so look at you gunther munch being so cute okay so we know he's creative he's a bookworm and he is clumsy so that's adorable and look at his little glasses oh what's his hair like though because i'm not really a fan also I had to reinstall my game so everything is a disaster oh he looks like a little man oh no <laughs> Uh, he is a young adult, right? Okay. Just gotta clarify. So I'm gonna keep this outfit the way it is. Um, this outfit's what I want to change. Is there any style look like <laughs> give him the hippie outfit? Oh my god. <gasps> undo. Undo. Okay, we're good. We're good. It didn't happen. This one. <laughs> it's so not his personality at all. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Gunther. You didn't ask for this. And I just came in and was like, yo, I'm going to make you wear this god-awful outfit that you don't want. I don't know what to give. I don't want to have to. I'm not good at styling boys. Let's give him, like, I feel like he could pull off his little, no. What, if you were Gunther, what would you wear? <gasps> I like this. Someone else is wearing this. 
but I don't really care. Or is it this that they're... I mean, like, other color options make it fine. Or we can give him, like, this. No. He looks like a land grab. Uh, we'll give him the blue option. Oh, so cute. And I'll give him, like, some little jeans. Oh, I hate having everything all uninstalled. Oh, my God. I have reinstalled my game so many times. It's getting kind of frustrating. Dear God. Okay. What kind of shoes? What? I don't know boys' shoes. What shoes would look... I mean... <laughs> so not those, but I'm gonna give them to him anyway. Uh, and also his hat, I feel, I mean, the hat's, like, kind of iconic, so I'm gonna keep it, but I'm gonna take his, like, oh, no, oh, no. There you go, I meant to take off his bracelets. Okay, so that issue's fixed. Okay, what is this from where, though? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't say anything, but I want to so badly. Okay, Gunther, you know what, buddy? You just, you do you. All right. You and Eddie are the real OTP. We're just going to leave it at that. I hope it doesn't put me in his household because, like, I don't want to deal with that right now. Ugh. Also, we aren't, like, official. Okay, here's a good thing about the girls' household. So we aren't officially dating Charles or Chris anymore. So, like, dumping them will be a lot easier. So yay for us! Uh, we just have, like, romantic relationship with them, so... And we're in Gunther's house. Oh, that's so good. Well, we can see, I mean, he's more romantically into us than we are, and we're more, like, friendly into him, which could have been my fault, also could have been the game's fault. I'm not entirely sure. But let's let's take a selfie, you know? Uh, I don't want to be in this guy's household, but that's okay. Uh, we'll take a photo with Eddie Graham. We haven't gotten to play with Gunther just yet, so this is kind of cute. Oh, what are we going to have? <gasps> Yay! Oh, look at my babies. Aren't they so adorable? Like, don't you want to be them when you grow up? Eddie looks so awkward when he smiles, though. Like, buddy, you're okay. You're just, you're a cute little noodle. You do you. We should dye his hair. <gasps> People wanted me to dye Courtney's hair, like, bunch of different colors, but TBH, I love the pink on her, and I'm kind of more down for dyeing, um, what's his face? Eddie. Wow. Good job, Kayla. Dyeing Eddie's hair more colors. So, let me know how you feel about that. Also, we have no, okay, I gotta get out of this household, I have nothing to do with this guy. Like, sorry Gunther buddy, but I want to go back into the other boy's household and see what we've got going on there, because I do want, let's be real, I do want Courtney and Austin to get together at some point. I think that's going to happen probably before Julia and Emmett get together, and here's my reasoning for that, because I feel like even though Austin and Courtney have met more recently, there's a lot of, like, issues going on between Emmett and Julia, and there's, like, some history there that makes it kind of awkward. Uh, so it might be a little bit too soon for them to get together. But, I mean, Jul I mean not Ju Julia and Austin. No, 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 no. Incest, no, no. Um, <laughs> yikes. For Austin and Courtney, it's a little bit different. So I feel like let's have a club gathering. I mean, it's only in the morning, though. What can we do? I don't know. What does one do in the mornings? <laughs> mm, okay, well, we could throw a bit of a shindig at the house. But okay, let's talk about this for a second. So, <laughs> apparently in, like, episode six, you guys can go find it if you want to, at, like, um, like almost a minute in, I <laughs> said, like, something about how we are going to go to the club and have a bit of a dancey wancy and I said it out. I don't remember this happening, because I recorded that day. I recorded, like, 12 videos in one day. I edited it, recorded it, and uploaded all of them in one day. So I was, like, obviously really loopy. And I was saying this dancey wancy thing for so long. Oh, my God. And my friends, I was out with them on Friday, and... Um, they were making fun of me, and I didn't, I was like, I didn't say that, there's no way, and she played it for me, and I almost died, I was laughing so hard, so if you guys want to go look at that, you can mock me, I don't know the exact timestamp, I think it's like one, maybe it's five minutes, one or five, I don't know, episode six though, of this Let's Play, so go check that out, uh, make fun of me, oh, I forgot that he has like, <gasps> he's not that close with any of us, oh, I forgot, because he's like the new kid on the block, mm. so I feel like maybe he and Emmett would go out with some of the girls. Okay, let's do that because that makes sense. We can all go to the block. Ah! Callie, if you, mm, you text me when I'm trying to record, girl. So let's have everybody go out together, I think, actually. Um, we'll go to the bluffs, all the club, which makes sense. That's something we would do. Like, it's a casual, I don't know what day it is. Like, say it's a Saturday afternoon and we're going out to the park or the, you know, pool thing out, you know, to swim in the lake. I, what is the bluffs? I don't know. 
it's a Sunday. Oh, it's so casual. Yes, so realistic. Ooh, let's go out here and we can all go swimming together. Yes, please. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay, so let's all go swim in this nasty water. Uh, let's, we can, <laughs> we are going to go swimming dipping. I'm sorry. We can't do that. Let's all go swimming together. All as one big crew. Let's go. <gasps> yes, look at everybody. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. <gasps> Julia, are you, Julia's in her clothes. No, 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 no. Julia, why are you embarrassing yourself even further? Oh no, she just changed. Okay, thank God. I was like, Julia, this is really uncomfortable. But look at our whole crew just like, you know, down here in the water. They're just sort of like sitting there. What's happening here? Oh, oh look at Courtney going over next to Austin though. But you see, that's like <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> Austin is real. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to have him talk to her. Don't get out of the pool. Don't get out of the pool. Don't get out of the pool. Don't get. Oh my God. I cannot control these. What is she? Oh, I bet she's making a really funny face right now. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to look at it. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. Look at Oh, we can't see. She's coming for you. Oh no, we really can't see it all. Oh. Ugh. That happened really fast. Okay, I'm sorry. I get distracted way too easily in this Let's Play. Um, it's becoming a real issue, but I want to talk to... Mm, stop running away, you child. Okay, we're going to talk to her because she's like really cute. Also, she's not in the other club anymore that she was in, so that's not good. But we need to talk to her and like, oh, why do you think that Julia is so angry? Why is she always so angry? Now I want to see. Mm. Okay, whatever. Also, he is her sister, right? Yeah. All right, praise. I did, didn't mess that up, too. Okay. Oh, why don't you sit next to her? She's like sitting behind some bushes. Is she scared of us? Do you think she's scared of us? But Courtney, we loves you. Mm. All right, I say we go get a little bit romantic with her. Let's go be like, yo, so are you single? And she's going to say, because, I mean, listen, she's not technically dating this guy. They're just, like, seeing each other. So she'll be like, yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, kind of in a relationship, but not really. <gasps> oh, yeah, see, I told you she'd say she's single, but, I mean, she's not really single. She's kind of lying. But I don't know, I think she's got a crush on us, so maybe she, like, would lie. I want to go back into their household and see what's happening. I feel so left out. All right, so let's ask about her career, because I know she doesn't have one. And then we will, um... I don't know. All these kids, like, let's exchange numbers with her. Ooh. I mean, I'm sure he, <laughs> Courtney's unemployed. Yeah, she is. Oh, what are you doing? Look at these. Oh, I thought she was going to sit next to us. <gasps> she, <bo> <gasps> oh, she didn't, oh, she didn't want to exchange numbers. She was like, yeah, no, I'm going to pass on that. Wow. Okay. And on that note, I kind of want to go back into their household. What's your deal? From low qual. <laughs> Do you see this? Ow, this feels like sitting on rocks. Do you think that's a coincidence or that's like a because he's actually sitting on rocks and the Sims is trying to be funny? Because either way, I'm laughing. Uh, jump for the group. Let's do a bit of a cannonball. I'd like to see that. Maybe go for a bit of a dancey wancy. I'm going to start saying dancey wancy all the time now because of that. Because you know what? You mock me, I'll mock you. Ooh, I want to see. I want to see. Don't let me miss it. If I miss it because of you, I swear I'm going to be so angry. Okay, good. You're good now. You can probably go. I think that you're probably okay. I hope he fails. Fail, 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 fail. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, was that supposed to be? That was a cannonball. That's not a cannonball. Buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dive disaster. Mm hmm. And then Julia's. And Julia's right there being like, oh my god, stop. Yes, I love it. Oh, is she going to boo him? Do you I can't see anything because stupid plants. I like to look at my Sims reactions. <gasps> she is me. She is me. Like, whoa there, buddy boy. Back off. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Oh, well, she's okay with it now. She was laughing about it. Like a friendly mocking. You know, like your actual trash, but like LOL about it, you know? Oh, look at, oh, caught in the act, going to pee in a bush, both of you, both of you, really. 
Oh, now he's feeling all sad. Okay, well, um, I'm kind of over this place. I don't know what else to do. Um, we could invite out. Let's. We could bring Kate over here. Because Kate isn't our actual girlfriend either. So we can fix that issue. There you go. Uh, so consensus on Kate. I think, did we talk about this? I call her Cake. She's not Cake. Her name is Kate. She's a person, not a food. Stop, stop foodifying women. Okay, I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Uh, but let's come talk to her. Uh, maybe not in our swimsuit though, because that's like a little bit, oh. Give her an introduction. Because we obviously don't know our girlfriend. I mean, that would just be ridiculous. Who knows the person they're dating? Not me. Where is she? Kate. Oh, there she is. Okay. Kate. Hey, girl. How's it going? I need to give her a makeover too, but like not right now. I'm a little bit too busy for that. Hey, Kate. Okay, so we're going to actually change our outfit. Uh, if you sit on that pool, I swear to God. Okay, well, maybe not. But she better change into her swimwear too. Oh, good. That's so cute. Oh, get that tab in. Oh, wait. We don't need this right now because I haven't even done my interactions yet. Okay, so we will maybe get to know her a little bit. I mean, we've been seeing her for a while, but we're about to ask her to be our girlfriend. Oh, I missed it. So we don't want to miss that. I hope that they get married. Who's calling us? Is it Gunther? Oh, it's Julia calling us from right here. I heard you and Gunther started dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. Well, thank you, Julia. I've got more boyfriends than you do. <laughs> oh, oh, so we don't we don't hate Marcus Flex anymore. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, that doesn't really matter. We've already done it before, but yay kate and travis are like officially dating they're going steady okay cute i want to kiss her but not this is not a good spot for that what is happening right now these two are like best pals and then like mm, what are you doing i don't know it's a little bit concerning like what do you think they're talking about <laughs> they're such nerds okay and also, I feel like, let's talk about us too. Apparently, I've been stereotyping Travis just because he's Asian. I'm not trying to. You know what? It started off as a stereotype because that, you know, is an interesting thing to do. But then it turned into, like, he has such a deeper storyline. I just haven't talked about it that much yet because his parents really don't like Kate. And that's going to cause some real issues for him. So we're not, he's not just being that Asian kid. You know, he's part of the club, just not officially. And some of them don't like him. That's cool. You know, he's going to get there. And he's got this beautiful girlfriend that we love. Kate Bartlett. Soon to be. And also, just oh, my friend mocks me for this. His last name was Chang. That's fine. Okay, anyway. Uh, Eddie, what are you doing? You're just swimming around. I feel like the girls are gone. And it's getting late. We should probably all go home. And then get ready to maybe go out. I don't know. I'm probably not going to keep that in. Because we're getting close to the end of the part-ish here. Um... But let's all go home and then maybe get ready a little bit. We can maybe... No, we're not going to bring anybody with us. Who am I getting? Uh, the girls left already. They, were, they got sick of hanging out with us. With, <laughs> I can't speak. I speak for how long in these Let's Plays every day and I still can't English? Yeah. Uh, what was I trying to say? Oh, the girls wanted to just leave that dumpy pool and go home. Uh, maybe just swim in their nice pool and their own... Oh, they don't have a pool, do they? Never mind, that used to, and then I changed the build, so it didn't. Mm, whoops. Okay, so let's actually, let's all do some bar drinking, you know? Like, Austin, come make us some drinks. Uh, practice making drinks, just for funsies. And Emmett Anderson, you presently don't know any ladies, except for, you know, your friends' ladies and your friends and Julia, who you really can't hit up now because you ruined that for a while at least. Um, so what can we do for the rest of this part? Go into the girls' household! Okay, let's do that. I'm down for that. I enjoy that idea. Such fun, such excite. I hope this isn't boring. I feel like it's kind of a boring part, but it's almost like a transition episode. Also, I, I sound kind of sick. It's because I am. So that's cool. You know, always good to be sick. So, <laughs> yay, thumbs up for that. Also, uh, Fixer Upper is supposed to go up tomorrow, and I haven't even recorded it yet, so that's kind of an issue. Um, don't know if that's going to have to be pushed, and I'm taking the SAT this weekend again, so uh, some real craziness is going on. Oh, Julia still likes him. 
Hmm. I bet somebody splashed us why she was angry earlier. But what can we do exactly? So we know that um, we've got Chris, and she does actually like Charles. So we haven't really figured this whole issue out with Charles and Chris because I don't think that Charles is the one to settle down with, although maybe he is. I mean, what he's... We don't know his traits anymore. <laughs> Darn it. Um... But Chris also is a nice guy, but really, I don't think that he's the one for Courtney. I think that it's just a boyfriend because she wants to have a boyfriend, you know? Um, oh, their bedrooms are gone. Gosh darn it, this is really irritating that my save didn't save. I might just end the part. I mean, it's really short, but I might end it early here because I got to get a move on on that fixer-upper stuff. And also, um, you know, just... Filler parts. Filler parts are always good. So these guys are going to go ahead and get ready for bed. and Or, well, I don't know. We'll go out in the next part. So it's good timing to stop this part here. Uh, she's talking to... Oh, dear God. She's talking to a rabbit. That's why That's why I have to end the part. Because Courtney is talking to a rabbit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a comment and like and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. All my links and things are in the description if you guys want to check out my Twitter or my Instagram or my gallery and get this house, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Um, I also have all the links for the other episodes of this series kind of somewhere over there in the description. I don't know. And at the end of this video, if you want to check those out too. And in case you guys didn't know, I post videos every single day. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye.